So I became in, involved in stroke research, actually like much research evolves, by accident. Um, I, I was trying to study what causes high metabolism and high temperatures in diseases and one of the diseases I was looking at was stroke and as a result of that we found out what turned out to be a new process in the brain that we think contributes to the damage and ever since we've been trying to understand that process to modify it and actually we're now undertaking clinical trials. We've done research over many years now which shows that inflammation and chemicals and substances released in the body that cause inflammation we think also contribute towards stroke. So our research tries to understand more about that, about cells of the immune system, how cells in the brain release different chemical substances which then can affect how brain cells function after the blood supply has been stopped and disrupted as it would be in stroke. So if we block it we think we may have something, a treatment which will help reduce the damage caused in stroke patients. When this idea came up of a science art stroke link, I was just fascinated by it because I've always liked the idea of putting together science and arts. And, and it's a really important approach to involve sufferers of stroke and their relatives. I think working with the Stroke Association in this has been fantastic. It'll give us an opportunity to work with stroke survivors. It gives us an opportunity to, to really, I think, a, gain access to a population we've, we've probably struggled to do so as much as we'd like to. So on the 1st of May it'll be the launch of what we hope will be a series of events, obviously this is a very major one, but there'll be others that follow and I think it's making people wake up think, goodness that could be me or it could be my brother or sister or my parents and that actually when you hear the word stroke it isn't necessarily mean the end of your life or the end of a useful life. In Science Stroke Art I'm really going to be heavily involved with Brain Attack which is on Saturday the 17th of May. So that's down at the Museum of Science and Industry uh, in Manchester and we're going to be running a, a series of hands-on activities that day uh, all related to, to stroke, understanding more about stroke and what stroke is and then how that affects the brain how the brain works and, and so it's really a whole series of events which are hands-on for all ages which will try and hopefully give people an insight into brain function and then how stroke unfortunately can really dramatically affect that function. I think the really novel thing and neat thing about it is the fact we've included a number of events and a number of links with, with artists and, and the, so we're going to have poetry, we're going to have some visual art as well as the science so I think that's a really great thing to be able to do. We are talking about incredibly sensitive, painful moments in people's lives. But something that runs through the poetry that I do and the projects I work on is, yeah, we do have catastrophe in our lives. But at the same time, I think it's really, really important that we sit down and share that catastrophe because the more we get them out and the more we express ourselves and the feelings of that catastrophe in a group situation and through poetry and through art and through music, the more we develop an understanding to them. And the more we develop an understanding to those things, the more we can go on and live our lives to full and know, know that just because we've had a stroke or just because things have happened to us, well, we've got to get on with it. What we're going to do is sit in a corner and rock. It's about yeah. small steps, and that's what we're doing with every one of these projects. They are taking small steps, but those small steps become strides, and those strides become massive leaps forward. And something that I don't think these people recognise is the inspiration that they provide to others who will see them and see what they have been through and will be inspired to do similar things, even if that similar thing simply means going out the front door. Interestingly, as a scientist, I don't think they're that different because I think both science and the arts require creativity, thoughtfulness, testing things out, then going back and changing when it doesn't work. And I actually think there's a great deal that each can learn from the other. And so this event that combines uh, science and art with an understanding of stroke, I'm really looking forward to.